All right, this is how to set up your Wix account if you do that. So if you could please use the affiliate link, it's in the resources down below. You just you click on that, you hit start now. We'll just make this as fast as possible. Let's sign up. I've got a, I think this is a junk email that I've got. All right, there we go. So you hit sign up, let's get her going. What type do you wanna create? Okay, a online store. You could create it with any, like you could make it on your own or you could just use this. So, I mean, if you're doing Wix, you just want this thing up fast. So let's just do this. Just use this. What kind of store do we want to create? Um, horse heads. Let's make a horse heads. Um, decorations. Costume. Let's make a costume costume shop for children all right there we go do we need the following get subscribers create a blog no we don't need these we just if you like i'm saying if you want to do wix you're just doing this so that you can get the bare minimums to show up for your product at the cheapest price in the smallest amount of time so you could just take action this isn't the best for your long-term business but you know maybe you just found a one-off product that you want to make some money from what's the name of this horse heads are us you know toys r us going out of business but we've got we got the horse heads are us where is this located skip it doesn't matter okay this that we don't even need to do any of this next start let's choose elegant we want an elegant horse head Cool. Create my website. Horse heads are us. There we go. So the nice thing here, you can just horse heads are us. There's so much in store. Blah, blah, blah. Contact us a bit about us. Our story. Since 2002, we have had the best horse heads in town. Now we are online. Get, get ready. Cool. Get ready. The stallions are coming. All right. There we go. So we could just, boom. Like, it's just so, it's nice and easy. And uh, so you have your products here. And uh, pretty much you could just, you, all we got to do is load some pictures in here. And uh, we're done, basically. Uh, you can You can add pages really easy. So you could add a page or you can add a section to a page. So they have all these pre-made things where it's nice and easy. You'll have more of a customization than compared to Shopify. So with Shopify, your, your themes are more set and it doesn't have as many ad features like, like Wix does. So if you wanted to get a bit more creative and actually design how your website looks, Wix is better in that way. And probably easier than, than WordPress too, because you have to get add-ons on WordPress to get it to be more drag and drop. And then and, and you have to get Divi, which is an add-on, and that costs about a hundred bucks more. So I guess that would be the, the scenario where Wix would be the winner here. I mean, we can literally get f finish in time. Uh, so basically you would wanna do the, the shop I'd probably get a rut. I don't even know that I would have this stuff because basically literally all you need are your products and a contact us page. So what the, at the end of the day, we want to make sure that our email address matches up with the email address on our Amazon account and the email address on our website and the domain. So you do have to buy a domain. So if we were to go to upgrade, now so this is what what you could do is you could pay for the full year here but if you're doing this this is kind of a throwaway brand and you're not sure about it so i would be doing the this one probably i mean you're going to have actually you're not going to have the ability to buy products but you could make product pages on wix still so there wouldn't be a buy option, but you could have a whole, you could make drag and drop and make a, 
a product page and and lay it out so that you could convince the Amazon rep that, hey, this is the actual product, the listing, there's the website, you know, you got to change it. Or you go ahead and you're going to have to buy one of these premium plans to get an online store. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it with Wix. Um, if you go down here, they, uh, so they'll host it for you. They, they have a domain purchasing service. So you could go and get your own domain from GoDaddy or you can buy it through Wix. But here is a warning when you want to transfer from Wix to Shopify in the future, if this becomes a big brand, then it's a little bit of a hassle. My wife has done it. It took her a week, uh, not a week. It took her, it took her some hours though. So it's not, it's that there is going to be some time that is taken up there, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, another nice thing is they allow you to get your own email really easy with Wix. So can it? Yes. Yeah, they offer mailboxes. You could get Gmail up and running really easy. Whereas with WordPress and Shopify, it's a bit harder to get that going. So just some things to take into account with all of this. And yeah, Wix. Wix is a uh, that was actually Wix is where I made my very first website. The thing is, here here's the downfall. Okay, so all of the pages are static, and by that, I mean, you have to drag and drop absolutely everything. So if you're ever trying to get into more complex, so if we go to go to Target or what's a good Shopify store? Let's see. Let's go to Iconic. Okay. So if we go to stuff like this, collections, you can't make, it's going to be a lot harder to make stuff like this with the Wix store and Shopify is just built to do much better at all of this. So